So we're going to start the new topic of lines and angles by looking at different types of triangle. So you can see I've put four different examples here, and these are the four we're going to really focus on pretty much up until you get to your GCSEs. So I have uploaded a copy of this for you, so you can use that yourselves to put in your own box. But what we've got here, and I'm hoping you'll notice these, these things here, we've got the isosceles triangle. Careful with the spelling of that one, okay? It's a really strange spelling. Isosceles triangles have got two sides which are the same length. And that's what these lines mean. If we've got one line here and one line here, that tells us those sides are the same length. And we've just drawn in these two angles here as well. So I've got an angle here and an angle here, and they are the same. So I'm going to call them both X. Okay, so my isosceles triangles, I've got two angles the same and two sides the same. Now, don't be fooled because we really, really quite often we do see them looking like this. But sometimes you might be presented with it sideways, upside down. As long as there are two sides the same and two angles the same, it's an isosceles triangle, regardless of which way up it is. So don't be fooled into thinking that always this way up with the two equal angles at the base because it's not always the case. OK, equilateral triangle. This is one you're probably familiar with from primary school. It has, it's my favourite, because it's just so nice and symmetrical. We've got one, two, three equal sides, all the same length. And therefore we have got, we'll call them Y this time, three equal sized angles. And in the next, the next video we're going to put up, I'm going to explain to you how we can calculate these angle sizes here. Down at the bottom then, we've got a right angle triangle. We don't hear about this one as much. It's one of the less popular names for triangles, but it's it's a very valid triangle. So we've got a right angle triangle, which is any triangle which has got a right angle in like this one. And remind ourselves that a right angle is 90 degrees. OK, so we can have any other angles here as long as this one's always 90. And again, it could be the other way around. We could have it could be upside down. It could be backwards. As long as one of the angles out of the three is a right angle, it's a right angle triangle. The last one we've got here is a scalene. Now, on a scalene triangle, it's kind of like the leftover triangle, really. It's a triangle which doesn't fit any other definition. So we've got three different sides. And I'm going to represent them like this. So this is one length. This is a different length, which is why I've put two on. And this is a different length again, so I've used three little bars to represent that. And we get not only three different side lengths, but also three different angles. So I, I guess we could call them X, Y, and Z, just so we know that they're all different. X, Y, and Z. So there are your four different types of triangle. We'll take some notes on that in your book, please. And I'm going to put the next video up in just a moment, which is all about the angles inside triangles. And it's quite a nice um, little experiment we're going to be able to do with those.